Okay, let's do this. Um, I need a good start for the ranger, bro. I don't, I still don't know a good start for the ranger. I really don't. I feel like I have something to do with the totem though. So we're going to try to do totems again. And yeah, we're just going to try to do totems again with short bows. Um, and hopefully that just works. So yeah, bow. Gonna need that. Um, um, totems with dagger might not be bad. To be honest, I'm just gonna pick up both of these. So we'll pretty much have triple DPS. Blueberry doesn't mean anything. Looking at this healing herb, don't know if I wanna get it. Maybe I can save on some money because we don't really need it at the end of the game, right? Um, it just helps us out with mid game when we have a hungry blade. That's the only reason, but maybe we'll be okay. Give me this. Give me this. That's my shell totem. That's my mana potion. Room, maybe? Maybe? I mean, shell totem, broom, and short bow? Or should I rock two short bows? I don't know. So we're at a one point. We're gonna be at a 1.0 because Shell told him it was a point six. So we're gonna be at one point seven. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, unless I just rock broom and short bow. I don't know. Or I mean, broom and shell totem could be of interest. If I'm just gonna rock one of you, then I might as well get. I might as well get an upgrade here. Okay, I might as well get a Tuscan poker. I might as well. Um, uh, we might win. I got a little bit of healing, but not a lot. We have no healing though. I mean, we got the health potion though, to be fair. Not to mention that one spike, nah. Still wasn't enough, still wasn't enough. Darn you freaking banana. Um, 1.1, I'm gonna get the short bow. So we're rocking two bow and arrows with a shell totem and a dagger. Might not be bad. I'm gonna pick you up and I'll pick this up. We're at a 1.4 with a singular b -nans. I'm hoping that'll be enough. Oh, we need we need stones. Yeah, we need stones. I stole my stone. But we need stones and we need the bag of stones if we're rocking shell totem. It can feed off of the empowerment, doesn't use up any uh stamina, which is good. Kind of just like dagger, how dagger doesn't use up any stamina. Unless we go against a build that's like... Pick this up. Unless we're going against a build... I could get a special dagger. Anyways, unless we're going up against a build that... Uh, gives us spikes, then we're kind of fucked. As a dagger. And I'm also looking at this. I can give me another shell totem. It's going to be more stamina though. I don't think I do that. I don't think so. That's not only if I had one bow and arrow, I'd do it, but meh. We'll see how this start goes. And I think if I get the bag of stones, I think I'll be in a pretty solid position. I just realized they have no weapon. <laughs> I'm like, how are we not losing any health? It's because they don't have weapons. I'm looking at my stamina too. Our stamina kind of blows. I don't like that. Even with just one B-Dance. Dang it. That's a good all-arounder item, though, so I'll keep it. I don't have space for that. I'm taking you, though, for sure. For sure. Okay. 20 maximum health might help a lot, though. Ooh, a villain sword? Yeah, we lose. We lose. I'm gonna give you a good fight, though, my friend. Okay, maybe it wasn't a good fight because we still 30 damage. Jesus Christ. We only got him down to half of his health. Okay, we got the stone. Do I get this? I need better space than that. Uh. Oof. Okay, we're making a switcheroo here. We are going to sell the shell totem and we're selling short bow. I'm just rocking Tuscan Poker with Hungry Blade. Yeah. 
That's the plan. I like this plan. That's the plan. I don't even need this dagger. The dagger might actually do more harm than her, uh, good. We'll see. I think it's gonna do more harm than good. I mean, two to five damage isn't bad. If, like, if we go against somebody with spikes, it does more harm than good. Or if we go against somebody with a shield, it does more harm than good. But if we don't, then it just does the good of just doing that extra three to five damage every time you hit, right? And I guess with the, uh, the vampirism is good too. That was a good game though. Nice. Hello. Please give me the potion thing. I need the potion one. Should I pick up this bag of stones now? Not really. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't. We're not utilizing it. We're not utilizing the empowerment, so it doesn't matter. Also, I think I'm just going to pick you up. And then do that. Pick this up next round. Then again, we have this guy. We're not really using any buffs, though. I guess a 20% faster could be nice. But, meh. I'll just put it in next round. We'll use this later, though. The 20% refund is going to be uh, handy later down the line. We, I think we lose this one. I'm glad they don't have spikes, though. I'm also glad they don't have any uh, garlic to get rid of our vampirism. Okay, we win, surprisingly. Then again, we do have a lot of maximum health, though, so. All right, give me Groove Keeper. Yes, yes, yes. No. No. Nah. I do want that. Do you want the collar? Um, don't really need the beanans anymore. To be fair, I'd rather have, rather have the um, the piggy on the field, for sure. Hello, hello. I'm glad we're getting a lot of these on sale because I need to buy as many as I can okay. in order to try to get that uh, potion. The potion one, the potion is good. Very, very good with this type of build I'm going for. Okay, nice potion bombs. But still, no. Damn, that vamp armor is nutty. Nutty. Tin empowerment as well. That's fine, though. Another maximum health. I mean, ma you can't go wrong with maximum health, right? Hello. But yeah, you just like you just can't go wrong with maximum health and that's kind of the reason why I'm just keeping it here just to keep it here <sighs> This isn't looking too bad right now though, I'm gonna be honest a double axe with no jewels is intriguing Maybe I should have positioned that orb a little bit better to maximize on the mana game because we need to get this orb proc if we want to win I think if we can win with this orb proc. It's a little bit late, but we got it anyways, and we still don't win. Better mana orb positioning might have been better there. And oh, okay. That helps us out a, a lot, actually. A lot, a lot. Okay, let's, um, let's reposition. Um, we'll do something like this. Boom. A boom. Orb. Clover. That can just go there. And... We'll put all the potions over here. I can move these down by one. Just so that can be affected. Those two can be affected. Nice. Um, that can go there. I don't have any more mana items, so... Now it's just time for the piggies. These guys and then maximum health. And uh, banana doesn't matter because we're not using up stamina. It's only a 0.7, so banana doesn't matter. But we should be able to proc the mana orb. And then those uh, the potion should help us out a lot too. Okay. 
Nice. Damn, this battle's going on for a long time. It's their healing, bro. Is the healing? Their healing was too much. The 55 speed with the 22 uh, healing. Too much for us. Too much. I'm gonna pick this up. It's because it's not a lot of money. It can help me out with my crits. Another one. I'm gonna take this, actually. And this. Okay. Should I move this up by one? Just to get the extra vampirism? I think so. Extra vampirism can be nice. Okay, um, boom, boom. I mean, I guess I could keep you in. It's not gonna hurt keeping you in, right? Okay. Oh no, this needs to go up here though. Yeah, just so I can get that uh, combination. Probably better off up here for the extra star on a prismatic orb. Okay, let's see what happens. Ah, uh, we just have to go against BS. Please win, please. Let's go. I don't know what just happened. I guess these procced. The mana potions procced when we used this because he just used up mana. These procced. And we basically just insta-killed him with the, um, these guys with the mana thirst. Very nice. Very, very nice. A little bit of space doesn't hurt. And we'll just do this. Now, once we start, uh, I could sell, I could sell you in the banana and get this. Now to be a whole nother magic slot that I can use. Okay. Oh crap. What are you doing? What build is this? Mana thirst versus mana thirst. But I'm not really sure what he's doing with his mana thirst. It's hurting though. Okay, we're fine. His mana thirst is dead hurt. It hurt a lot more than I thought it would, considering. Uh, not really getting lucky here. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, I didn't get anything I want. I'm gonna get this though. Nope, don't want this. It would be nice to get this with blueberries because we kind of need... We're running low on blueberries right now, so... I guess I'll just keep that, and if we see any food on sale, we'll just buy it. Hopefully we can just pull a blueberry or something. Oh, that's game. And... Oh, I thought the mana orb was gonna proc. Oh, we don't have a mana orb. I'm tripping. Damn. Another hungry blade? Should I get four? I'm gonna get it. We might actually see another mana orb. Hopefully. A fifth one is crazy. Blueberry. Should I even put you on the field though? <laughs> I actually don't know. I don't really need to. Not getting any more prismatic orbs kind of sucks as well. To be honest. But we're making it do. We're making it do. Interesting. A little bit of a food build I see with the cheeses and everything. And you got the heels. Just keep letting me reach that 20 threshold. One more time. I still got potions to proc. Still got potions to proc. Let's go. <laughs> Good game. Hey, there we go. Got another one. That's huge. Jesus. I am not getting lucky. Okay, this is going to go... 
Um, here. That is a wonderful spot. And then we'll move the potions up like that. So you're maxed out, basically. You're still missing two slots, but I don't have any more slots for you, I guess. So you're just going to be missing out, I guess. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, we're missing one more. I guess we'll just do this because that guy doesn't really matter until we actually need to buy some food items anyways, right? So... Freaking crossblades. Boom! Crossblades means nothing. Crossblades means nothing! Give me some good rolls here. Please, game. Game hates me. Should I roll anyways? I, I wasn't even rolling with these. The game hates me. <laughs> it's official, bro. The game just hates me. I would love to put you on the field, but I want you to be a mana orb or a mana, or a mana thirst. Wow, you don't like people. You hate buffs. You hate buffs. And for that, you die. How's it feel, buff hater? <laughs> I'm gonna buy this food. Maybe I get a blueberry. Nope, got cheese. Don't want cheese. Don't care about cheese. Hey, blueberry, another one? Nope, chili. Don't want chili. Don't care about chili. And now we're just rolling for fun. I could sell that for one gold. Damn it. Hello. This is going to be rocking 400 blades on this one. This is going to be crazy. If I could roll for like one more prismatic orb, that would be nice. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa. Um, that'll work. That'll work. Yeah, I, I was going to reserve this, but I don't think I need it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need it. Oh, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Okay, we don't really need another uh, prismatic orb then. So I'm just going to sell both of these. Sell the food thing too. Just drop you right there, my friend. Because you are that amazing. All right, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, this build is insane. And we get a whole nother round to see the glory. Oh my God, you almost got insta-killed. And that's... I don't even know how how long is that. A 1.9, 1.92 battle. 1.92 battle right there. We might actually get a, uh, a zero second battle with having this many mana thirst. That's the plan. A zero second battle is the plan. We can use this for orb procs for even more buffs. Um, I'm gonna buy this just because. Maybe I, if I can pull another man, uh, prismatic orb, that would be great. Because that's the only thing I need right now is another prismatic orb pull. And that is it. I'm thinking about getting this. I'm gonna get this. All right, it's time to sell some things. Ammo of life. We don't need you guys because we're not gonna heal at. Okay, 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 bro. That's that's not fair. I have to get it. Okay, I say we just. Damn it, bro. Okay, we need 15. Okay, so we know we need 15. That's. But then again, if, the, if we okay. We better not go get somebody with the cap of discomfort. Because all we need is 15. Do we need this? In, in, we don't need this. This is realistically only good if we have like more than one mana orb to refund the buffs used 
for one mana orb to use on another mana orb because it doesn't you know what i mean they don't it only happens once but only since we only have one mana orb this doesn't matter okay we got two four six seven eight well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so I could just sell these. I sell like two of them and that'll do the trick. Okay, this is a crazy build. That I will attempt to max out, which I can't, it seems. I'm missing one, one mana item somewhere. Which I mean, I could move this mana potion like over here. That doesn't work, does it? No. Well, no. Okay. Okay. This, <laughs> wow. Look at it. Look at the build. In all of its glory. Maxed out eight 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 and eight that is 16 32 that is 64 mana that we're gaining at the very start of the battle 64 not to mention this is going to insta proc giving us more mana this is going to insta proc giving us more mana and since this is using mana these are going to proc giving us even more mana and we have two 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 so let's see that is the orbs themselves are 64 mana all right um we can't really dictate how much mana we're gaining from both of these so we're just gonna leave those out but that's gonna be like 64 mana these are giving us four eight um eight so that's 16 was that like 80 i'm just say 85 and then another four so with these combined that's probably like 100 mana let's just say on a good day on a good day that's a hundred mana that we're gaining at the very start of the battle. Which means each and every one of these is proccing five times. Five times. So that's five, 10, 15, 20. They're proccing 20 times. We're hitting them 20 times at the very start of the game for crits. Cause these are going to be maxed out with crits. There's a hundred percent crit chance. hundred percent. It's gotta be a hundred percent crit chance with all these clovers and everything. And then not to mention the vampirism that we're gaining as well. So each one of these are gaining five vampirism. So that's five, 10, 15, 20, 20 vampirism, which means each one of these are gonna be hitting for 60 damage, 10 plus the 20. So this is hitting for 60 damage five times. That's 150 damage per sword. That is 600 damage at the start of the game. 600 damage. The only way this goes wrong is if they have crit resist, if they have the cap of discomfort nullifying the bust that we gain at the start of the battle and that is it or maybe an insta proccing glowing crown or any type of cap to reduce damage taken at the start of the game um that's the only way it's the only way other than that we insta kill what are we going against oh my god the perfect person you have no caps you have you have no defense you have no defense except for your corrupted crystals for the poison that you're putting on me but you're not putting any poison on me you get insta killed you insta die i'm positive i'm positive you insta die i'm gonna put this in, in point three let's see what happens positive positive you just insta die I, his cars are still going wow and that, guys, is a zero second battle. <laughs> you just insta die, literally. And I was right on the money with the 100 mana because we have 66 left over and this uses up 35. So that's like 90. No, that's 101. Yeah, that's 101 um, mana that we gain. 24 vampirism. These were hitting for 34 damage each. Hundred, bro. <laughs> what a game. 60 damage each. Yep. 
Yep, one of them didn't actually crit a few times. That one didn't. So we did one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. 380 damage. I didn't I realized I just added all that up and it was right there the entire time. But yeah, 380 damage at the very start of the game. And we still had more to go, I'm pretty sure. Cause we only did like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we only hit seven times. And we still had a lot more hits to go. <laughs> Cause each one of these we're gonna hit five times each. And we only need seven of them and then you're just dead. Literally just dead. If this build had a better mid game, I need to figure out the beginning and mid game for this build. And I feel like it could be a really good build. If you could just figure out the beginning start to not die at the start of the game with some solid broom, whatever. So and then, con and then convert it into mid game with your hungry blaze or whatnot. You could, you could, this build could be crazy. In my opinion, because the end game, you just win. No one's going to kill you at the end game with this build doing 600 damage. I mean, obviously, you're not going to get this lucky and get four mana thirst with four prismatic orbs, right? Like, this is the ideal setup. Maybe like one blueberry so I could put this guy over here. But other than that, this is the ideal setup. Even a perfect slottage and everything. Like, yeah, the ideal <laughs> insta killing. Mana thirst build utilizing prismatic orbs and everything like that. This is that was very satisfying. I feel so sad for people that are going to go against this build, but very satisfying build. Very, very sad. That was very satisfying. Thank you guys for watching. Let me guys know. Please educate me on how I can start on this Ranger class situation, on how I can get better, please, because I need it. Um, but yeah, other than that, appreciate you guys as always. Thank you. And I'll see you guys later.